So it's our first day back diving after a long trip and we haven't dove it in like a month. Brittany wanted to start it off by blowing a bubble ring and she blew a perfect one the first try. How did she do that? Then she went up and went to, wait a second, this is old footage. Okay, let's go to the new footage. Oh yeah, that's what I was expecting. Three bad bubble rings in a row. Nice try, Britt. We, uh, we pretty much forgot how to dive. So we're going to try to remember um, how to do that. So we're going to keep working on it and maybe we'll remember soon. Okay, that's looking better. Brittany blew a perfect bubble ring like she always does. And then she swam through it and it looks so nice. Okay, that's all the stuff we saw. Bye. So we haven't gone diving in a long time and unfortunately our first day back the water was so murky. Brittany was doing these uh weird hand gestures to tell you how murky it was I guess. Meanwhile I'm over here okay I swear I'm putting something in my pocket and not doing anything weird I promise you. I just had trash in my other hand so I couldn't use it on the side with the pocket. Then Britt was like hey come here look at this thing. It's some kind of shrimpy spider type of guy and I'm not completely sure but I think it's a molt to some krill. It was really hard to grab because it was so small and so clear but Definitely no more life activity going on inside this crustacean. Then I thought I found my octopus friend, Octavia. And when I picked her up, she inked all over. As she was swimming away, I realized, uh, that's not my friend. So sorry, random octopus. It did not mean to scare you like that. Then I found the tag to one of those terrible waterproof phone cases. And then I found this buckle clip. Okay, that's all this always saw. Bye. It's just a bolt. That's the left in it. <laughs> How come I always find the biggest trash literally the first thing when I get in the water? This massive tub of plastic was so big that there was no way I could fold it up and put it in my pocket. So I'm going to have to just carry it around for the whole rest of the dive. Then I found the lens to someone's goggles and it's been there for so long that all this stuff is growing on it. It does look kind of cool when I hold it up to the sun and because it's just glass, I'm just going to leave it here. Then I found the top of a soda can and the aluminum on this piece is so jagged that it's going to be pretty scary to put in my pocket. Then Britt gave me this little piece of rubbish that she found and I went down to this hole to try to pick up this shell in the back and I don't know what it was but I'm really glad I didn't try to pick it up because that thing was alive. I did find this other shell while I was on my way out of the cave and I traded that to Brittany for my big pieces of trash back. Okay that's all the stuff we saw. Bye! shell way back there. I need both hands to go get. Do you mind?
okay the thing the thing that i thought was a shell was not a shell it was a fish and it disappeared on my dive today, I found this little piece of plastic and then Britt was like, hey, come check this thing out. I've never seen this before. She thought that it was an octopus at first and I sort of had an idea from the surface what it could be. So I went down to check it out. It ended up being a sea hare. I literally didn't know anything about them. So I had to Google it real quick and I realized it's the same thing as something I picked up a while ago that leaked this purple ooze. I had no idea what it was at the time, but I'm finally connecting the dots. I only had an idea of what this thing was because someone that we dove with recently just posted a clip of herself holding one like it was a little baby. I wasn't so sure about this thing, so I didn't want to pick it up this time, but maybe next time I'll pick it up and give it some snuggles. Okay, that's all the stuff we saw. Bye. You know what that is? No. I've seen two people post about them recently, and I was like, why do I never see this? And that's it, it's a sea hare. And they would I'll, fully I'll pick them up and like cuddle with them, but I don't know if I'm gonna pick that I'll guy up. This is so hard for me to tell you guys because I'm honestly going through a lot right now, but on my dive today, I found my crab friend Dale and he's not doing so hot. This is um what's left of his body. You can see that there are no legs, no arms, just that weird little mouth thing that he has and uh, his eye holes. I went to show Brittany and she didn't even care. She poked him like he was my nothing. Bring it. This is, is my crab friend Dale. Joking. So what? He lost twenty thousand dollars of your money on bad crypto investments, but still, he was my friend. We had such good times together. Remember, he used to go. Dee, 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 dee. All that's left of him is this hollow shell. Everyone say R A L Dale in the comments below. He will be missed, and also I'm gonna throw him at Brittany because she was being annoying. Okay, that's all the stuff we saw. Bye. is my crab friend Dale. That's a rock. He's not looking so hot. That's a rock. What? That's a rock. That's <laughs> a <Sure, no. laughs> My crime friend Dale is dead and you're just joking. Oh Dale, I'm gonna miss you. <laughs>